Good morning, HD students. Uh, it's a joy to spend a couple of minutes with you guys today. And as we begin our morning together, I, I want to focus your attention on James chapter 3. And we'll read a couple of verses together. Uh, there are probably 12 or 15 verses here that I think would be really beneficial for you to spend some time looking at and studying today. I would even say verses probably 1 through uh, 13 or 14 would be a place for you to dig in today if you get a chance to do that. Um, but I want to read just a couple um, uh, verses at the beginning of this chapter with you and talk about it briefly. <clears throat> this is what James says in verse 2. For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, talking about the way that he speaks, so if he doesn't stumble in what he says, this man is a perfect man, and he's able also to bridle his whole body. And so pause here for a second. James is saying that if you can control what you say, if you have the ability to have mastery over what you say and how you speak, James says that you have the ability to control your whole body. Look at the way that he continues this. If we put bits into mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships uh, also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder uh, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. And how great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. So James is talking about uh, the tongue and the importance for the believer to be able to tame the tongue. And really that's the idea that you have the ability to control what you say. If you look at a little bit further in this passage, you find that, uh, that James addresses the reality that for the believer, it shouldn't be that with our mouth we're both praising God and tearing down people. Now, I want you to think just for a second. Like James gives some really good illustrations of what this looks like. Now, he says at the end of verse 5, now how great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. It only takes a small fire uh, to begin this massive uh, like fire in a forest, right? I, I think about Frozen 2. Uh, we've watched it a thousand times with my kids. Uh, there is this uh, tiny little animal that runs through the forest that's on fire and then catches the entire uh, forest on fire. Like that's the, that's the example that I think that James is giving here, that the tongue, though it's small, has the ability to create such a massive disaster. And so the, the point that I want to make to you this morning is how often are you attempting to control what you say? Are you putting an emphasis on how you speak to other people, how you speak to your parents, how you speak to your friends, how you speak to those people that are near you? Or are you just saying whatever uh, comes to your mind? And so here we see that as a believer, it shouldn't be that we're tearing down those people that are around us in the same mouth that we're also praising God. And so my challenge for you this morning is just to make sure that you are guarding what you say and that the words that you say have the, about, the, the ability to speak life or death into the lives of other people. And so what you say could build up another brother uh, or it could tear them down to where they feel discouraged and depressed. So guys, watch what you say today and make sure that what you are saying is that which honors and pleases God that people could look at the way that you speak and automatically know and tell that you are a believer. Guys, this is something that we've gotten really, really good at. Like we have the ability to maybe at times control what we say physically and face to face, but when it comes to social media, like we feel like we can be keyboard bullies. So what James is talking about here is not just verbal speech, but he's also talking about any type of communication that you have with other people. So my challenge is that even on social media, that you would guard what you say for the purpose of building each other up for the greater purpose of glorifying God. Guys, thank you for the time this morning. I pray that you guys would be able to spend some more time looking at James chapter 3, but guard your tongue, guard your mouth, guard what you say, and use it for the building up of others and for the glory of God. I hope you guys have an awesome day.